Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us Across the Fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. There are a host of challenges that come from living with memory loss. According to research, one of the biggest challenges is that memory loss can sever social connections at a time when those connections are needed more than ever. One of the ways to maintain and even expand social connections for people with dementia and Alzheimer's disease is through memory cafes. Our first guest today is Barbara Asen. Barb is the Director of Family Caregiver Support with the Central Vermont Council on Aging, where she also serves as the coordinator of the Memory Cafes. Barb, tell us a little bit about your organization and the Central Vermont Council on Aging. Thank you, Fran. Central Vermont Council on Aging is an independent nonprofit, part of the Vermont Association of Area Agencies on Aging Network. We serve 54 towns in Central Vermont, basically Washington, Lamoille, and Orange Counties and some border towns, providing services, expertise, advocacy, to help our older citizens age in place, remain well, remain connected to community. Family caregiver support and dementia friendly community are part of that. All right, and, and so currently the Central Vermont Council on Aging offers a memory cafe. Tell us about the cafes and, and the kinds of things you do there. Sure, well, we have fun. You know, that's the main thing is to generate good feelings. Um, we every month have a theme to organize around so that it is easy to have conversation uh, that brings in personal stories and memories, prompts things to share, uh, songs that folks can enjoy together. And uh, yes, exactly, uh, stories, memories, music community is what we chose because that's, that's what it's all about. And how long have the memory um, cafes been operating and, and ha has it changed over the years? For sure. So in our region, the, we started as the Montpelier Memory Cafe that was organized by volunteers and some professionals um, as a steering committee. The cafes were hosted at the Montpelier Senior Activity Center on a Saturday morning and we did that for about four years. Um, that started in January of 2014. Along that time, we got involved with the growing network of memory cafes in our region and beyond based in the Boston area called the Memory Cafe Percolator Network and learned about other ideas and uh, structures for doing memory cafe. And in 2018, we decided to actually go under an organizational umbrella, which was Central Vermont Council on Aging and still is. And uh, we moved to operating out of the Vermont History Center hmm. by virtue of having partnered with the ABLE Library of the Vermont Department of Libraries also that had just relocated there. So that started in 2018. Fantastic. And, and, and of course, COVID has affected everything. Uh, how has the pandemic impacted the Memory Cafe and, and how do you do that now? Yeah, exactly. So of course we came to the same halt that most everybody experienced in the winter of 2020 and uh, shut down for a while. We'd been meeting monthly and uh, the Memory Cafe Percolator Network really became an important connection for learning how to pivot to an online platform. Hmm. So we took them months to get that organized and then created Memorable Times Online, um, where we had been Memorable Times Cafe. Uh, once we came to the History Center, now we became Memorable Times Online. And um, that has been a really good experience and continues monthly. That's fantastic. And so, so this, this happens really, their memory cafes throughout the United States, much less the North, Northeast. It's a, it's a real movement. Well, absolutely, and it's really an international movement. So uh, the, during the pandemic, uh, and, and really as part of preparing for us to go online, we did some visiting around. I visited a cafe in Portland, as well as um, other, other places, a um, memory cafe directory 
on uh, became dot memorycafe directory dot com became an online resource for finding where there were memory cafes and people from anywhere could could come in. So that's been our experience. Has been that other other parts of uh, Vermont uh, where there may have been a memory cafe that didn't go online, we collected more participants from there, and uh, and it has grown. So this all brought new opportunities to the cafe in <clears throat> not only how you're offering it, but, but what you might do as a part of it. Absolutely, and, and one of the really fun things that has been part of our growth in this period, uh, once again, a nod to the Percolator Cafe, is we learned of a group operating out of Falkirk, Scotland, that um, wanted to pair up with one of the cafes or more in the United States uh, and Canada and so we became partners with um, a, that group and have met uh, five or six times. Uh, and we have new activities. When, when they host, they put together the program and our participants join in. Um, and when we host, we do the same. And we've had some, a number of special events um, that have included recently uh, a Robert Burns night at the end of January hosted by the folks in Scotland, and we were fully participants. We got to give the toast to the, to the laddies. And, um, <laughs> and then in February, uh, our own cafe hosted them. They were coming in in the late afternoon for them. It was the morning for us. And we had our Groundhog Valentine special, which was really fun uh, that, <laughs> that we got to celebrate those um, those events together. That's, that's just sounds like so much fun. Now, so, so, so what are the, some of the benefits um, we can kind of imagine, but, but the Memory Cafe, um, that, what are the benefits for the participants? What have they shared with you that really works for them? For sure. Well, you know, uh, on one level, having something to do, <laughs> you know, especially not, not only because of the pandemic, but people at home, especially people who are uh, dealing, living with dementia, either as the individual affected themselves or their caregiver, care partner. Um, as you mentioned, the social, social isolation is a big issue for the caregivers as well, because people, normal activities that people did start to get interrupted or the social engagements have fallen away. So being together with other people, laughing together, enjoying music and being reminded of music that has been part of one's life. Um, we, because we bring in pieces of history, Vermont history and otherwise through visuals, as well as through music sometimes. Um, sometimes people are learning something new. All of it is really about generating good feelings and these have residual effects of uh, elevating mood. They're good for brain stimulation. Mm -hmm. uh, reactivating neural pathways and creating new ones. Fantastic. So I'm speaking with um, Barb Ason of the Central Vermont Council on Aging about the council's memory cafes. Um, in southeastern Vermont, the Council for on Aging is also known as Senior Solutions. So Mark Bootwell has joined us. He is the executive director of Senior Solutions, which provides services, education, and outreach to older Vermonters in 46 communities in southeastern Vermont. Thank you so much for joining us, Mark. Thank you, Fran. Thank you for inviting me. You, it's a pleasure to be here. You bet. So Senior Solutions is working to start its own cafe um, at Mark, and clearly there is there is a need here. Yes. You know, over the past couple of years, what we've seen, what we've learned is that research has linked social isolation and loneliness with higher risks of physical illness and mental conditions, including high blood pressure, weakened immune systems, Alzheimer's disease, among many other uh, conditions. So according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, loneliness and social isolation were linked to higher rates of depression, anxiety, and associated with about 50% increased risk of dementia, mm almost 30% increased risk of heart disease and more than 30% risk of stroke. Wow. So, so, and they also found really significantly increased an elder's risk of premature death from all sorts of causes at rates, and this is, this is an interesting point, at rates that uh, are similar to smoking, 
obesity and physical inactivity. That's, those are those, remarkable statistics uh, that social isolation is really very dangerous. And, and, and so, so what needs to happen to get memory cafes um, into southeastern Vermont? Well, uh, we were very fortunate to uh, receive a grant from the Holt Foundation last year. And with that grant, we've hired a coordinator to help develop some memory cafes across their granting area and across our service area. So our caregiver services coordinator and our volunteer coordinator have been working together to secure spaces throughout the area. They have a space at the Brattleboro American Legion, at the First Congregational Church in Springfield, and uh, they're talking to the, the Neighborhood Connections Cares Group in Londonderry about hosting some cafes. We're hoping to get some additional funding and so we can expand a cafe program to the Bugby Senior Center in White River Junction. That's that, fantastic. So there's, you're really spreading out and um, we're, we're almost running out of time. So, so quickly, um, other, other services of Senior Solutions. Well, as Barb mentioned, uh, we are an agency on aging with, with a variety of services. We have a helpline, which is a assistance and, and information call center. It's the doorway to all of our services. We provide case management services for Choices for Care Medicaid programs and Older American Act programs. Uh, we have last year, 71 volunteers provided 50 200 hours of service. Wow, so significant. We're, we're, I, I want to make sure that people know how to get in touch with both you and Barb. Um, so Barb, quickly, how can people um, get involved? Sure. Um, you can contact me. The information's on the screen. I just want to say we will be continuing to do Memorable Times Online monthly. When we're able to gather in person, we will add back in our Memorable Times Cafe with our partners, the ABLE Library, and uh, special events with our folks in Scotland, too. Okay, fantastic. So um, the number was on your screen. Senior Solutions are the agency on aging. Thank you so much, Mark and Barb, for joining us and, and letting us know about Memory Cafes. And thank you, thank, you for jo thank you. and thank you for joining us across the fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. You stay well. Uh -huh.